Hey, it's Doris with Aldi Books. We're here for another car chat. This is my nonfiction November TBR in this bag, and it's quite substantial. If you can see that already. Oh my goodness, yes. Um, hopefully there aren't no snoozers in here. <laughs> anyway. Um, yes, Nonfiction November has arrived. I meant to film this days ago, but I just never got around to it. So many thanks again to Olive from The Book Olive for coordinating this. I will link her channel below. She will have nonfiction going on all month long. It's very exciting. And I have books for the prompts. I have buddies. It's going to be a great month. Let's just dive right in because like I said, there's a lot of books. Um, just go on. Let's do it. Shark Drunk, The Art of Catching a Large Shark from a Tiny Rubber Dinghy in a Big Ocean by Morton Strongsness. I'm sure I did not pronounce that properly. Anyway, this one I am using for the sports prompt, um, perhaps a stretch, I am not sure. I think this one is um, from Norway, yes, translated from the Norwegian by Tina Nunnally. Ooh, little picture there. I'm really excited to get to this one. I think it'll be great fun. And this is the only one that is just for the prompt. So, uh, this next stack, these are the books from the Tower of Doom. Oh, are you enjoying the lighting? I, I'm a little bit well lit here, but the books are over here where... It's perfect, so that's the important part, right? Anyway, Tower of Doom books. These are books that have been on my TBR for two years now, so excited to get to them. The Perfect Horse, the daring U.S. mission to rescue the priceless stallions kidnapped by the Nazis by Elizabeth Letts. So this one is um, also for the sports prompt. And I'm not sure if the horses qualify. I will have to read the story to make that decision. But one of the soldiers, I forget what country he's from, but is coordinating the rescue mission. Um, yeah, it's the Lipizzanos. I did. So the horses qualify as well. Horses usually do, right? Um, but um, the the... The soldier coordinating the mission is himself a um, Olympian. So, excited to get to this. And then I have John Steinbeck, The Log from the Sea of Cortez. This one, I'm sure, could be true. It's a true story from John Steinbeck. But this one is for Mel from Mel's Bookland Adventures. I'll try to link her channel as well um but for her gone with the book challenge which is to read a book set from like 1900 to 1950 so this one i believe is set in 1941 yes i love me some john steinbeck then i have um the blood of emmett hill by timothy b tyson i think this will be a hard read. It's set in the U.S. during rampant racism. Um, I'm not sure if that's a good description because we still have racism today. Um, 1955, so right before the civil rights movement um, uh, really got strong as a movement. Um, but yes, this one is also for True, um, for Nonfiction November. Then, <laughs> wait, no, this was, yeah, no, this was for Voice, sorry, Voice. This one is the one for True. Stranger Than We Can Imagine, An Alternative History of the 20th Century by John Higgs, um, 
This one is thanks to Dee Dee from Brown Girl, Re Girl Reading. I'll try to remember to link her as well. Um, I'll try to remember to link anyone I mentioned. But this one it was on her. She does a brilliant. She has a group of friends that do a book club each year. And they all um, coordinate. They all make suggestions and then vote on them. And I just love their long list every year to um, listen to it. But this has just got fascinating topics. Relativity, modernism, war, individualism, ID, uncertainty, science fiction, nihilism, space, sex, teenagers, chaos, growth, postmodernism, and network. Ooh. And pictures. So, yeah. And uh, that's all from the Tower of Doom. Yes, four from the Tower of Doom. And then these next ones are Buddy Reads with Heidi. None of those were, no. These are all Buddy Reads with Heidi um, from My Reading Life. So Esmeralda Santiago, Almost a Woman. This is the second in her memoir trilogy, which starts with... Um, when I was Puerto Rican, so she born and raised in Puerto Rico, but moves to New York in her early teen years. Fabulous series. The first one was brilliant. So really looking forward to getting to this. Then we are reading In the Garden of Beasts by Eric Larson. Love, Terror, and American Family in Hitler's Berlin. 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 <laughs> Love me some Eric Larson. So, yes. Um, then these next two are dense and large. <laughs> David McCullough, The Great Bridge, The Epic Story of the Building of the Brooklyn Bridge. So, we're starting this one today-ish and reading it um casually until we get there this one has pictures too so that being said i don't know how quickly we'll get through this it is large and in charge um 600 pages almost um so if we finish this in a timely manner then we are going to get to the evolution of beauty how darwin's forgotten theory of mate choice shapes the animal world and us we're part of the animal world by Richard O. Prum. There's also a few pictures in the middle of this one. So um, this one is for, these two are both for design. So a little design in the natural world and in the man-made world. Um, this one was for uh, True. True. And voice so those are all of my prompts from nonfiction november from olive at a book olive um then i have another buddy read the pot liquor papers a food history of the modern south by john t edge i'm reading this one with jacqueline from six minutes for me and you know this this could fit for any of the prompts uh, not any of them. It's not a sport. Southern eating is not a sport. Maybe. <laughs> um, this one is for true, I guess, probably. Um, true is a pretty broad prompt. Uh, the Great Influenza by John M. Barry, the story of the deadliest pandemic in history. I have just started this this morning on the way to work and it's mesmerizing. I am always here to read about to be involved in but to read about um an epic epidemic so loving that oh more pictures i like that nonfiction has pictures yeah look at that what a guy and then last oh oh sorry i meant to mention so um i shared all of my nonfiction in a video um, last month, every last book of nonfiction I have, with this one being the exception, because I forgot about it, um, and asked you to leave comments about what I should read from that list, and there were lots of lovely comments. I 
wrote them all down in my bullet journal and a running tally. And this one garnered the most votes. There were six votes for this one, as well as Team of Rivals also got six votes. But I made the executive decision not to read Team of Rivals because of The Great Bridge, mostly. I didn't think I could read two um, dense books like that in one month. So I chose this one for definite from your comments. Um, but I did have several more that received five comments. So those were The Professor and the Madman, A Tale of Murder, Insanity, and the Making of the Oxford English Dictionary by Simon Winchester. I Am, I Am, I Am, 17 Brushes with Death by Maggie O'Farrell. This is more of a memoir. This is more of a narrative nonfiction. And then Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind by Yuval Noah Harari. Um, and this one, I think, is more um, science and philosophy, I would assume. So, um, leave comments. Let's have a runoff. Leave, co leave comments which of these I should prioritize. So, yes. Um, Thanks so much for watching, and I will be back soon. I'm hoping to get a lot of videos made this month. So, yes, chat with you then. Bye.